Okay, so let's get this going. First question, which of the following has a value less that is less than zero? Okay, so something there is wrong. So it should have just been, which of the following has a value that is just less than zero? Okay, that's basically what I think they meant. So, <clears throat> letter A says absolute value of negative seven. Is that less than zero? Well, absolute value, ugh, absolute value of negative seven is seven. So that's not less than zero. So eight's out of the book question. Absolute value of seven is also seven. So that's not less than zero. C, negative 7, that's definitely less than 0, so our choice is C. And D, obviously, is not less than 0, also not a choice. Okay, so the correct answer would have been C. Okay, remember, absolute value measured the distance, you're away from 0, so negative 7, 7 spaces away from 0, that's the Y. It's 7, absolute value of 7, positive 7, 7 is also 7 spaces away from 0, so that's why it's valued 7. So the only one was C. Two, what are we doing here? We're putting this in order from least to greatest, okay? So if you want to, you don't have to, you can put it on the number line, but and then you uh, use the order on the number line to guide you. Um, in this case, let's see, zero, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. So negative one is your first number, so negative one is right here. Negative Two is your second number, so it's right here. Four, oops, I need a four. Four is right here. Make a little marker over there. And zero is right here. So on the number line, this is my order. Starts with negative two, goes to negative one, zero, and four from least to greatest. Negative two being your least, and, and four being your highest. So negative two, negative one. Zero, 4, and the only one that follows that pattern a, or that uh, order is a 3, blah, 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 record low, okay, so it's really cold, so here's a temperature, if that's 0, negative 47, okay, I'm just reading and just negative 47 would have been around here, okay, all the way down in Iowa, the temperature the next day was a little warmer, which of the following could have been the temperature the next day, so this was that day, which was negative 47. So negative, or letter A says it was negative 51. Negative 51 would be down here. So that's definitely not warmer. So A is out of the question. Negative 49 is also somewhere around here. And that's colder, not warmer. So that's out of the question. Negative 47 is the same temperature. So that's out of the question. And negative 45 would have been here. So negative 45. Not much of a difference, but a little bit warmer than negative 47. So definitely, that's our answer. Okay, for that would be letter D. Okay. Um, <clears throat> four. Four. The locations of two buildings are shown in the coordinate plane in units of one kilometer, so each one unit. Okay, remember this? We did this. It's one kilometer. Okay, for those of you... We love the metric. Building one is located at negative three and three. Let's find neg uh, negative. Okay, and building two. What's the distance? Well, if you count it, okay, you gotta find the units. You gotta be really careful because here's your number line, and I won't. Well, okay, let's see if I can draw this picture as best as I can. Okay, um, building two is here. Building one is over here. Now I'm gonna tell you what that looks like. So you have negative four, negative two, zero, and on this side you got two and four. So what's the distance? First we have to find the distance between these two buildings. Okay. So this is at negative three, so just be careful. From here to here is one unit. From negative 2 to 0 is 2 units, so now you have 1 and 2 here, 3, plus another 2 is 5, plus another 2 is 7, so the total units is 7, okay? And if it, what if each unit is 1 kilometer, then this would be equal to 7 kilometers, okay? This one was simple. <clears throat> 
five, the city of Delville is represent, represented by the point three and negative two. Okay, three and negative two on the coordinate plane, which quadrant that, is that in? Three and negative two, okay, coordinate plane. First number is positive, and the second one is negative. Would be this quadrant. Remember, positive, negative would be quadrant four. Okay, three and negative two, so imagine, let me do this again on the side here. It takes three steps to the right, one, two, three, negative two, go down. So you're somewhere around here. And where? what is that point? Where is that point? It's on quadrant four. <clears throat> where are we? Six. Okay. By the way, I'm meeting, so forgive me. Hmm. Wind chills, temperatures. Which city shows the list of range north from least to greatest? Okay, so let's see. You have, <clears throat> ouch, spicy, 7.2, negative 6.7, negative 5.4, negative 6.1. You want to put this in order from least to greatest, okay? So, least to greatest, let's see, again, if you want, you can put a number line. Okay, so we, didn't, we don't need positive numbers. One, two, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. Start with this one, negative 7.2. That would be about here. Okay. Negative 6.7. That would be between negative seven, so about here. Negative 5.4. Well, not much of a question here. That would be about here. Right? And then negative 6.1, that one will be about here. So there is your order right there. Smallest, second smallest, third smallest, fourth smallest. So whatever order. So it would be Moncton first, and that would be either A or B. Second would be, would be Somerville, and then third place would be Gatsby. Okay, so the only one that has that order is letter C. Hey, okay, first page on. Second page on the map. Post office is located at negative six four. The fire station is located three units east of the post office. Okay, if you have a question like this, draw it. Okay, or use one of the other questions that has a grid to locate that point. Okay, so negative six and four, you can just make. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative six, and then you're going up four. One, two, three, four. There you are. Okay? Doesn't have to be pretty, just make one. And you're going east three units. Okay. That's north, that's south, that's west, and this is east. So you're going to the right. What happens when you go from here three units? Go one, go two, go three. This is your new location. So, that new location, if you count, it'd be one, two, three. So you're, instead of being a negative six, you're now at negative three. And you're going one, two, three, four. Your height doesn't change, so that's still four. The only thing that changed was this. So you went from being a negative six to now being negative three. Okay? <clears throat> Uh, uh, uh. The normal temperature in Alaska is negative 8.6. Okay, between which two integers does, yeah, integers does this temperature lie? Okay, number line will definitely help. Now, what you need to do is, well, you don't need a lot of numbers. Zero, well, maybe you didn't need zero. Hold on. Okay, so negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. Negative 9, negative 10. Where would this be? This would be between where? Let's go around. It'd be somewhere right here. So it's between who? Negative 7 and negative 8. That would be a choice of C. Okay. Ten. The high temperature was negative 3. What's the absolute value of negative 3? You have to be kidding me. 
absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Okay. Mm. 10. These are the temperatures in the solar system. You want the order from greatest to least. Oh my god, greatest. All right, so let's put all the numbers down. You got 15, you got 15, negative 110, negative 65, 167, negative 200, negative 140, negative 195, and I believe that's 464. Okay, so. You can do a drum number line. I know a lot of you know that <clears throat> on the negative th side, the higher the number, the lower its value. So if you already know that, you might not need a number line, but I do it anyway. So I am not going to do a number line um, by ones, of course. Okay, so let's do it by hundreds. How about we do it by hundreds? 100, 200, 300. 400 and let's do something on the other side negative 100 negative 200 and negative 300 I think it, we don't need anything else besides this so start putting your numbers 464 would be about here uh, let's take so let me circle that 167 would be about here 15 I'm doing all the positive numbers first 15 would be about here Okay. <clears throat> now negative 110. Ooh, negative 110 would be out here. Okay. Negative 140 would be about a little bit. Okay, let me just write that on top. Negative 65 would be here. Negative 195 would be close to 200, but not past it. And finally, negative 200. There. All my numbers in order on my number line. So now you just got to be careful because the question did say from from greatest to least. So who is the planet out of the four that has? Well, I don't know. I only they only have four planets um, instead of all seven. But <clears throat> letter A has Mercury as the highest. Well, Mercury is 167. What's Venus? Venus is 460. Well, okay, so letter A can't be because letter A has Mercury as the highest, but letter B has Venus as, at 464. So definitely A is out. Okay? Wait, no, it's not. All right, hang on a second. <clears throat> letter A has Mercury as first. Okay, Mercury 167 has Venus as second. Okay, that's already incorrect because Venus is 464, so letter A is out. Letter B has Venus as the highest, that's okay. Mercury, second place at 167, that's okay. Earth at 15 and third place, that's okay. So, so far, so good. So, they had 464, Mercury at 167, so far from greatest to least, it's okay. Had Earth at 15, and then Mars at negative 65. <clears throat> is this in order from <clears throat> greatest to least? Yes, it is. Okay, so I see what they're doing. They're not using all the planets, so they're just plant using uh, they're using the four planets. And I didn't read the question, so I didn't need to do a number line with all those numbers. I just needed Mars, Venus, Mar Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Correct answer is B, by the way. Okay, so that was my sorry for making this. Little messier than it should have been. Okay. Um, Eleven. The point negative seven and one represents the location of a fountain on the map of the park. What quadrant is this? So again, that's simple enough. Negative seven and one. So I'm here. It goes set negative seven means goes this way, and then go up one. My new location is here. Now, what quadrant is that? That's quadrant two. B. Twelve, while scuba diving, Amelia explored the ocean, and so she's scuba diving. Here's the water. 
she's at negative 30 feet, probably in the Caribbean somewhere. You don't have to go that deep to see things. Negative 30 is pretty good. Ricardo was closer to the surface of the water. So this is a milia. So Ricardo to be closer, has to, he has to be in any space here. This is where he is. Anywhere here. Not down here, but up here. So anywhere here would be okay. So the depth, which describes Ricardo's depth? Depth of greater than negative 30. Depth of greater than 30 feet. Okay, now. So what are the numbers over here? If this is negative 30, what are the numbers in this region from this? Uh, how do I do this? Let me change, if I change colors, okay, so, any number, okay, in here, and that's zero, any number, from zero to negative 30, has to be a number that is greater than negative 30, so even if uh, Ricardo is here, let's say at negative 28, negative 28 is greater, has a, great, a bit greater value than negative 30, okay, so whatever value, He's at, he could be here at negative, I don't know, let's call that negative 10. Okay, that negative 10 is greater, is it has a greater value than negative 30. So whatever depth that Ricardo is, which is any value between 0 and negative 30, not including negative 30, okay, those values are greater. So a letter A said a depth of a greater than negative 30. So I would choose A. Let's look at B. Depth of greater than 30 feet, that's positive 30 feet. Positive 30 feet, okay, would put Mr. Ricardo, this is 30 feet positive, in the area above here. Obviously, you can't scuba uh, in the air. <clears throat> a depth of less than 30 feet, well, depth of le le this is positive 30, by the way. Depth of positive 30, of less than 30, would mean even this counts, okay? and everything down there, but uh, and even this area would count too. But since this area, can't scuba here, letter C, it's out of the picture. Letter D, a depth, depth of less than negative 30, so ne ne less than negative 30 would, be, would mean that Ricardo's in this area, here and down, and that's not true. So the only one that really makes sense is this area here, and this area between the ocean level, <coughs> And negative 30 is a value less than negative 30. So that's a, what a horrible question. Only because of the word, wording. Um, 14, the city's elevation is 140 feet below sea level. Okay, so here's a C. And it's probably somewhere, um, okay. And there's a city right here. City, we'll call that city. And that. And they are at negative 140 because they're below sea level, 140.2 feet. Between which two integers does this elevation lie? Okay, that's negative 140, okay? So what's negative 140? Well, that's zero. Let's make this 100. Okay, let's make this a hun negative 140. Negative 141. And let's make this negative 100. 39. So where is 140.2 negative? That number would be here. Between negative 140 and negative 141. Do I have that? Yes, I do. Letter A. Um, 14, table below shows the average January temperatures in four city, which temperature has the highest temperature, okay, simple enough, if you look at it, this one will be Clifton, 15.7 is the highest one, okay, the two negative values obviously are less, and 10.4 is less than 15.7, so, answer is A. 15, which situation could be represented by an integer of negative 2, a football team gains 2 yards, which means they went forward, that's not what we're looking for, 
the golf score is two over par. Remember, in golf, par means zero, so two over on top of zero. That's positive two. Nope. Let's say that he's two feet below sea level. Well, that's it. That's the one we're looking for. Below sea level, he has a negative connotation, so it's negative two. Okay? And earns two points on the quiz is definitely not a gain. That would be, a, I mean, not a loss. That would be positive two. So, let us see. Um, each unit on a corner paint would present one mile, so one unit for 16, one kilometer, okay. What's the distance from the grocery store to dry cleaner? Okay, so now again, um, careful, although the units are two, okay, the counting by twos, the problem with this question, okay, is that, so we've got negative six, negative four, negative two, zero, Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so grocery store is down here, and dry cleaners is here. So you're going from here to here. Now, where is this guy? This guy is currently at negative five, and he is on this side. That guy is on five. You gotta be careful how you count. So if you're at five and you go to negative four, okay, you're going one unit. That's one. And then but every everything from then on will be by two. So one plus two is three, plus another two is five, plus another two is seven, plus another two is nine, plus another two is ten. Wait, eleven. Oh sorry. From here to here is one unit. Plus two is three. Plus two is five, plus two is seven, plus two is nine, plus two is eleven, and then plus one, because from six to seven, and this should have been a seven, sorry, okay, is twelve. So that's twelve units. So let's count again. From five to four is one, so that's one unit. Plus two is three, plus two is five, plus two is seven, plus two is nine, plus two is eleven, and then plus one, because from six to seven is just one. Total units. <coughs> <clears throat> so one unit one kilometer 12 units is 12 kilometers final answer D okay uh, here we go 17 okay this the town of Cedarcroft is represented by 0.111 in which quadrant does that lie okay again we go little one 11 means from here you go right 11 okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then you're going to go up one. Where's that quadrant? That quadrant is in quadrant one. And a map of a fair. <clears throat> okay, again, use one of the quadrants, one of the coordinate planes given to you from the other questions, okay? Um, if you have a question like this, okay, with no no grid, no coordinate plane. Use one that's available to you. So in the map, Ferris wheel is located three over two. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna do it pretending I don't have anything. So three two means I go three to the right and two up. So I end up being here. Here here's your Ferris wheel. Okay. There is. And I want to go five units south. So again remember north, south, west, east. So I'm going to go five units south of that. So that means we're going to be, let me make this view here. So if you're here and I go five units south, it means one, two, three, four, five. I end up being here, okay? That's my new location. So what would that be in terms of coordinates? Well, one, two, three. I'm still three spaces to the right. And how many spaces down? That was one, two, three three spaces down, which makes puts me at negative three. Okay. The other ones really don't make sense, okay? Um, if you try them out. Okay. Nineteen. Maria withdrew twenty dollars. Withdrew means take out, spend it, so that would be negative twenty. Letter A. Um, the freezing point of bromine is negative point, negative seven point two, which between which two integers? Okay, 
negative 7.2. If that's 0, let's start walking. Negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. And negative 7.2 is here. So it's between what? Negative 7 and negative 8. And the only one that says is letter C. <clears throat> 21. First round of a board game, Alejandro lost 8 points. What does the absolute value of negative 8 represent in this situation? Hmm. Decrease in his score, the increase in his score, the number of points he had at the end of the round, the number of points he had at the beginning of the round, obviously. It represents a decrease in his score. Okay, lost eight points. That uh, means he. Uh, the only choice here is letter A. Okay, a decrease in his score. I'll read the question. Um, Twenty-two. Map the center of the city shown. With what order pair represents the library? Wow, seriously. So the library is where. You look at it, start at the origin, 0, 0, and I'm looking at the map, I'm not doing this on the screen, sorry. Start here, it's where you are, let's go to the library. The library looks to me, that is 2, and it's going by 2's, okay, so you're going to 2, 4, you're going 4 to the right, that's my fourth coordinate, and then how much up? You're going, that's 2, you're not going all the way to 2, you're going halfway, somewhere over here. And halfway between 0 and 2 is 1. If you try the other ones, they don't really make sense, okay? So, the only correct one is letter D. Okay, that's all. We're done. <clears throat>